Okay, so let's take a minute and review creating master pages and creating static page elements. So remember, the purpose of a master page is whatever you put on a master page, it applies to all of the pages. So if I go into my pages panels over here, and I'm going to go ahead and use my custom workspace that I've made, Mel's workspace, because it's got all the panels that I like to use. If I go into my pages panel here, you'll notice at the very top, there's a spread called A Master. If I double click on that, it will center my A Master spread. So let's say I want to apply something to this A Master spread that I want to apply to all the pages. You want to make sure that your A Master is selected. It's blue up here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to create a footer. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a couple guides. I'm going to click on my rulers here and drag to the inside and outside of my margins. Those are the guides I'm going to use for my footer. Then I'm just going to create a little a rectangular frame down here at the bottom from one guide to the other. This is where I'm going to put my footer. I'm going to go ahead and make it a text box by clicking my text tool and clicking inside it. If I go command 4 it's going to zoom in 400 percent and I'm just going to go ahead that's a little bit close so I'm going to zoom out a tiny bit command Z to zoom out. Option to grab my hand tool to move it to center. I'm going to go ahead and make my footer. Mel's Magazine. November 2015. In between Mel's Magazine, I want to add a little bit of white space. And it's not very professional or traditional to just add a space there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click. I'm going to go in here, insert white space. I'm going to throw an M space in there, which is a space typically about the width of an capitalized M. That's not entirely true because it is a little bit wider, but I'm just going to go ahead and throw in some white space, an M space. That looks good right there. Now what I want to do is I want to throw in a page number as well, right here before the title. So again, I can also go type insert white space M space, or I can do command shift M. Again, I can right click, insert special character, markers, current page number, or I can access it up here. Type insert special characters, markers, current page number. Now you'll notice right here that it does make an A because we're dealing with our master spread. A page number isn't really a number, it's just a symbol. So this A represents the page number. So I adjust everything that I like up here and I want it to be 15 points. That's a big page number but for illustration purposes it'll work. Let's go ahead and make this bold. And we're going to go ahead and make this blue as well. I'm going to go ahead and make a character style. My options drop down menu. Let's go to paragraph rules. And we want to go ahead and turn a paragraph rule on. Okay, I can adjust it any way I want. Thick and thin line, text color. Let's go ahead and make it blue, kind of like our page number. Thickness, one point. We can change it to two points if we want. Okay, that looks pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And I'm just going to move it down. I'm going to hold shift so it goes straight down. And I'm going to put this horizontal rule so that it's flush with the bottom of my page. Double click my hand tool to center everything. You can see right here that I have my footer. W to go in preview mode, show me exactly what it's going to look like. If I want to duplicate this, just grab it, hold my option key, duplicate it over to the other page. Then I can click in here, command four to go at 400%. A little too close, let's zoom out. I'm gonna select all this. Now I'm gonna change my justification to the right. And then I just have to do a little bit of rearranging. Cut that, command shift N. Now you'll notice my horizontal rule does not go all the way to the edge. Let's go ahead and fix that. Paragraph rules, let's go ahead and switch this to zero. There we go, now it goes all the way to the edge. Let's select this one as well. Paragraph rules and zero out our right indent. That way my line will go all the way across. Now if I go back into my pages, you will notice if I double click on page four, you'll notice now that I have my page number down here, page four, with my footer. On page three, I want to put a full page spread here, and I don't want my footer on this particular page. You'll notice that I can't select it. You'll also notice this dotted line around it. That basically made, means it's a master page element, and I can't select it. If I go into my master page, it's not a dotted line, it's a solid line. If I want to get rid of my footer on this page, I right click on page three and I select override all master page elements. So now the dotted line changed to a solid line. That means that I can do whatever I like with this footer. I'm just gonna select it and delete it. 
this particular page does not have the master page elements applied to it. And some documents have multiple master pages. If I wanted to create a new master page or duplicate this one for different purposes, I could go into my additional panel options, duplicate master, spread a master, make a new master, master pages, etc. So that's how you create master pages and create static page elements to the master page. It's also how you override master page elements on individual pages.